Hi, and welcome back to Planning for Adventure. We're Jesse and David, and this is Bluebird. And Bluebird is a 1988 Chevy G20 conversion van. Come on in. So this van tour is not a end of van tour. This is not a finished car van tour. It's also not the beginning. It's sort of a midpoint kind of thing, I guess. When we first got Bluebird, the first thing that we did basically was rip out the swivel seats that we had here in the middle. There were two captain's chairs and put down a laminate floor. We did end up leaving the couch sofa thing in the back because it folds down into a bed. And instead of doing a fixed bed, we let that stay because we want to be able to have the option of safety belts for the kids because obviously this is a family car. This is what the bed looks like when it is in bed mode. We sleep from side to side. David is six feet tall and I'm 5'3", so for me it's not a problem. David kind of has to sleep diagonally though to fit. Elvira will sleep on an air mattress on the floor and Elliot in this captain's chair which folds down really nicely and is crazy comfortable. It's a bit of a tricky situation though whenever we do want to use the swivel on it because it tends to be a bit weird. Having the option of the swivel seat in front is really nice because it gives us the ability to just sort of sit and hang here. Here in the front we have a privacy curtain, which needs, it needs to be secured a little bit more, but that's blackout so that does keep sun out and gives us a little bit of us time. Here in the middle, we have Bailey's spot while we're driving. This is her bed and where she chills and hangs out when she actually does manage to chill, which is not her forte. We haven't really done a lot to the front of the van in regards to changing anything up because we actually really like the 80s vibe that we get from it. Let's face it, we're 80s babies, so it's kind of back to the wonder years. The main changes, I suppose, would be a phone mount. Uh, which is really good for charging and, and mounting the phone. And uh, there used to be a some wood paneling here on the dashboard. We sort of haven't decided, because I really thought it was pretty, it kind of matches that honey color of the steering wheel. Um, but David thought it was kind of hard to see the gauges and things like that. So it's off for now, but the screws are still in there because we haven't really decided what we're gonna do with that. Our family has kind of, you know, we've always wanted to and loved being outdoors. And um, when the kids were little, we used to go camping a lot. But camping kind of has a limited time frame, at least here in Sweden, because things get cold and rainy and wet and ugh, you know. So um, getting the van has really been a really fun way to sort of prolong and extend our, our outdoorsy time. Last spring was one of grinding and sanding and treating all that rust. Building up fiberglass was something that was totally new for both me and David, but you know, trial and error, you learn things together. It's been really cool to see the vision sort of take shape. We were kind of on the fence on if we were going to have somebody else paint the car for us, but we did what everybody said we shouldn't do, which is we went with rattle cans. We realized we could have gone on vacation with the whole family for the amount of money it would cost to have somebody else do it for us. Could it have been done better? Yes, absolutely. Is this our way of doing it? Yes, yeah, yes it is. Uh, it's been really fun and we love that it's been a project for the whole family. In here, we changed the, the belt, uh, we changed uh, brake fluid, we changed oil. Uh, we also changed the uh, blower motor for the, uh, for the fans uh, and we're gonna have this one checked out because we have AC on this. Uh, it's AC here in the front and there's a AC unit in the back. Uh, so we will get this tested and checked out and see if we can get it running again, you know. 
uh, so we have to take it somewhere and uh, check it out but that's uh, you know what we've done so far in here uh, we also got a new battery because the battery we had was really bad and at one time it looks nasty in here so we probably have to tidy these things up in the future but we had the car wouldn't start and it was one of these wires or connectors here that got you know, that was really looked really bad and and we had to take it tow it to service because we couldn't find what what the deal was uh, but yeah that's one thing we have to sort out here with all the wires and things that's been connected we are also thinking about removing these lights and this bull bar and find some other options maybe put something up here put lights up there like a light bar or something on the top so we're gonna uh, see what we can do there the kitchen we have done as a pretty simple setup in all honesty it is just uh, a usb it's a little usb pump and it goes down to i think it's 20 20 liters of fresh water 20 liters of gray water so we weren't really sure which size fridge to get uh, some people were saying oh get the 60 liter but because we have kids we wanted to go a little bit bigger but not full on 100 liters so we went with the middle ground and we got the 80 liter one and uh, it's been really good so far it has basically held anything that we could possibly want and uh, gin and tonic and salad see you gotta have balance so far we haven't installed solar so we use our ecoflow river which has been really good it is powering our fridge when we're out and uh, and charging up laptops and phones and all that jazz we also do have the opportunity both to either charge it from the wall ah let me see so you can either charge it from the wall or plug it into the cigarette lighter of the car while you're driving which is maze balls and it does have the fast charge so if we do plug it into a wall outlet it powers up in like an hour which is really nice so that is good and um, we also have a DC thing in a jiggy there so that is awesome so up here up top we have um, three different sections so we have most of our pantry stuff here some canned goods and paper some plates and napkins and uh, cutlery and things like that here in the middle we have some games I think we have battleship or something like that and um, that usually works for the kids batteries flashlight those things that you need and then here over here we have pots and pans and our little stove it is a Primus propane stove and uh, let's see, it actually has these legs that it can stand on. <laughs> let's see if I can open it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. So it's a two burner stove, has little flaps. But a lot of times um, we will actually cook outside. Cooking inside the van gets crazy hot since we have not yet got the max air fan in. Something that I genuinely love is this hanging basket thing that we got from Justa. Um, I mean, it's not a weird one. I think you could probably get it anywhere, but it's just one of those things that's like not even really super installed, just kind of squeezed the knot, knotted end in there and it stays put. Um, we have a hook for the fridge and a wall of good times so oh that's us in italy back in <clears throat> younger days that's this year family a few years ago and that's when the kids are little see i'm that embarrassing mom one thing that we really really like is these blinds that are original and it's it's nice privacy i mean it's not going to keep light out all that much but they're cute, they're cool, we use them, but I do recommend regular drapes as well. Front brakes were toast. I think we showed in another video that they were pretty bad. So uh, we actually changed out everything in here. Uh, drums, rotors, 
pads and brake lines. And uh, uh, we're gonna see what we can do in the back where we have the spring brakes. Uh, no, not spring brakes, uh, drum brakes, sorry. Uh, we haven't looked at that, but you know, these one really needed to be changed. So we've done that. Another essential thing that the EcoFlow powers, not to be forgotten, is my, <laughs> my Nescafe Dolce Gusto. I gotta have my coffee. And uh, up here is where I keep tea because I do make tea with it as well. Just, you know, keep the water up. Uh, or some hot chocolate, or some latte macchiato, or a cappuccino. Gotta have the goods. Back here, we have a small compartment for, well, right now there's not a lot of stuff in there, but you know, general things. And here's our bed. I think one of my favorite features with the van is the back doors, in all honesty, because it's so nice to be able to open them up. We installed a little hanger thing here with some hooks, just so that we can hang clothes, hats, bags, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And of course, <laughs> I'm originally from Colorado, so we have a Colorado license plate. Not my year of birth, but you know, still kind of fun. We were talking about it a little bit before and we were like, oh, you know, should we, sh should we do the van tour now or should we wait till we're finished? And you know, I just, I think we just kind of landed in um, the same mentality we had when we set out to do this, which is we're a family. <laughs> we want to use the van. We have so many things to do. Going beast mode, building the whole thing out, getting done with it in one season, that's just not going to happen because we have too many other things that steal our time and we want to be able to use it. So that's why when we first set out to do the van, it was kind of one of those, what can we do to get it livable and usable as soon as and as fast as possible? Um, so it's kind of a living project in that sense that, you know, we did the floor, we did the kitchen, we fixed the stuff that needed fixing and, uh, and everything else is kind of a, you know, work as you go kind of thing. Uh, so, you know, give it a year or something like that. And you know, I'm sure we'll have another van tour, which would be like Bluebird 2.0. Um, but for now, this is, you know, sort of midpoint and you guys get to come along for it, which is fun. Huh? So a typical question uh, is, do you guys have a toilet? Do you have a shower? This is a tiny, tiny van. We don't have a shower. We do have a shower head that we can, that has a pump built into it that we can use. And that, you know, that's pretty cool. But generally speaking, we're usually in places where there is a shower. Hmm. And if we go somewhere, we don't have a toilet. I have a pee funnel. I don't really use it all that much, but it's there for emergencies. The cool thing about the Park for Night app is that it has amenities usually listed, so we never go anywhere if there's not like a toilet or an outhouse. Hey, thanks for checking out our van. It's uh, a project we just started. The main objective was, like Jesse said, to get out as fast as we could, you know? Um, but there's a lot of cool things that we want to add to it and we want to... I'm oh, sorry, I didn't mean to add <laughs> See you guys next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.